The video you're about to see, I really thought it needs a context. I didn't have time uh, to perform uh, preparation. Uh, I had a delay flight arriving in Geneva and uh, there were complications with my flight. And in actual fact, after this meeting, I actually had to go back uh, uh, to Geneva Airport and, and get a flight out. Now, I was very fortunate to receive this invitation and it's uh, Hannah Ballet and Pierre Sanitro that were very gracious uh, towards me because they allowed me to be in that gallery and uh, to take a video of S by Sanitro art exhibition. In error, I think I call it jewellery in the video, so I apologise to that. But once again, I really wanted to stress that the art gallery and the exhibition is very, very high end. And I'm most probably out of my depth. And I wanted to uh, illustrate um, how credible uh, both uh, Pierre and Hannah really are. And, uh, and I am not doing it justice. Uh, the artwork is fantastic. Anyway, I, I hope you like uh, the, the video, the, the, <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, the video. So I'm here to look at the exhibition by Pierre Salanitro. And uh, uh, as you can see there, it's titled S by Salanitro. And um, I've got a feeling it's very good. Um, it's, a, it's a gorgeous gallery and uh, a lovely location and uh, it, it's, it, it's gorgeous being here. Anyway, I shall be in there very soon. First of all, I've walked into this gallery and um, I don't know if you can see, um, there's these lovely people over here. <laughs> uh, but um, but the, this, it, it's a lovely gallery and uh, straight away you can probably recognize one or two of these pieces. But I'll just swing over because um, this is Pierre here. And uh, I know that he's got a lot of, there's so much information in his mind. And, and this, uh, this lady here, um, right. Uh, so I'm here to, to meet you guys and to find out about S by uh, Salanitro. And um, uh, so what would you like to tell me, um, first of all? Um, about the S by Salanitro? I uh, just, just want to say uh, S by Salanitro is more uh, about art, not jewellery. Yes. It's uh, exclusivity, luxury, yeah. uh, it's more this way. Yes. Uh, uh, to be honest, um, uh, the, the time I've spent in Geneva, um, uh, uh, the, the, uh, all the brands are high-end and I always look at wristwatches and in particular artwork, especially artwork uh, you know, on the walls here. In fact, uh, this art gallery, you know, for me, is a, is a piece of artwork and um, I do apologize, um, my camera wants to go over here to this uh, mask and uh, look at that. Isn't that absolutely lovely? I, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I'm, I'm well, I think what is important to say is that Pierre yeah. Salonich was a world reference in yes. terms of setting stone, precious stones. He works with the greatest brands in the world and now he's launched a new brand, S by Salonich Raw, which is focused on art on artistic unique art and series yes. limited series editions of pieces of creation and he decided to launch this his brand in an art gallery because it just seemed like it was had sense yeah to to so we had an opening on the 23rd of march in our space in the old town by gallery we had uh, fantastic artworks by pierre soulage and pablo picasso and then we had uh, these incredible uh, unique pieces, backgammon games and uh, masks, um, but the brand uh, and also mirrored by um, collaboration with French artist Annie Nevea, quite a yeah. stunning piece. Uh, um, uh, do you know, I'm, uh, I'm trying to get out of the shot myself because uh, I'm, I'm ruining the shot. If I stand here, there we go, that looks better because you can't see me. But look at that. I, I, I do like that. Mm. Uh, that is super. Um, there is a whole story behind the stones. The artist is passionate about the meaning of stones. And, yeah. And so the collaboration just made sense. Yeah. And then uh, the brand created the series of masks inspired by Aztec, um, Aztec gods, the most important uh, Aztec gods like Chipe Totec and Toltec. Um, wow. And also the god of war, whose name I have forgotten. 
but I will come back to me. Um, they are all, they're all set uh, in... in uh, one second, um, I know you're Pierre's daughter. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to say hello. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. No, 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 not at all. Um, yeah, so uh, so that's the um, that's the, the idea behind the master to create yeah. unique um, objects uh, that. Yeah. Oh, let, let's yes. uh, let, let's let's go into the now. You know, knowing very little about um, you know this sort of thing, you can tell instantly that this is something very special. Um, I can see that's a piece of artwork. And, yes. and, and if I was to own something like this, mm -hmm. um, I, that would be hung up on a wall, or actually, it would be inside a display cabinet. Um, you can because, choose. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, it, it's uh, it is fabulous. I do feel ignorant. I do apologise. Well, not at all. There's nothing. I, um, we're here to explain. You know. Yes. It's, it's okay. important to say that we are here to, to explain to everyone, yeah. and that there's no problem coming and asking questions. These pieces are are interpretations of um, of masks that were created. Uh, some as early as in the 15th century and yeah. sent, um, you know, Aztec gods. But they are objects, um, precious objects, that you can either hang on a wall, or you can leave in these beautiful boxes. They're so, you know, the finishings are just so, so, so perfect, so gorgeous. Yeah. And um, they have yeah, the other certificates and the little shelves. And yeah, you can, you can, uh, you can just have them either, you yeah. know, to hold and. Or, or you can display them as you please in a in an interior hanging on what we did it just here um, okay, on the wall. It. Yeah. You can use it on different way, two way to use it. You can put it on some like this. Yeah. Super. Oh yes. Or you can wear on the wall. Yeah. Uh, do you know, uh, I, I like the contrast, uh, the way that, I mean, this will look great on camera, but I know in flesh you get the 3D aspect, uh, so you have lots of depth, and, uh, and they have this wonderful contrast between uh, the colour against the, the, the dark colour of, 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 the, of the case, the presentation. That is really cool. It sort of stands out. It's, uh, it looks lovely. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> it looks... Uh, it looks lovely. Do you know? Do you know? And, and just to, to uh, explain to you, in, in every box we have a, as well the support to fix on the on the wall. Ah. Like this. Yes. Ah, right. And we have the cert certificate. Yeah. With all the details about the mask. Oh, super. Yeah. Uh, uh, one and thing. The original yeah. mask from where? We get the inspiration. Yeah. Wow. The warrior. Yeah. What a cool yeah. name. Uh, it is lovely. One thing that strikes me instantly is the quality of, of the manufacture. Um, it, it really does strike you as something that, that's really had a lot of um, uh, build quality and skill um, put into it to make this. It, it, it is a very nice object. It, 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 really, it really is. Um, uh, I, I mean, the, I, I have seen uh, these in emails and uh, marketing information, and um, uh, I don't play this game myself. But if I did, uh, now I mean, I probably wouldn't want to play because it's so fantastic. But uh, uh, um, tell me about these. About the backgammon? Yes. I play backgammon, uh -huh. and uh, I never saw some backgammon high jewelry like a piece of art. Then when we start to think about designing it, we wanted the jewelry backgammon with whom we can play for real. For this reason, we will put the lead dices. Dices, mm -hmm. official one. You can play, and it's not. It don't look too heavy, too much setting, it's very uh, elegant. Yeah, it, it, it's absolutely, I mean, that's an ornament just like that. I mean, in a presentation case like that, um, it looks super. And um, uh, Every background yeah. is a unique piece. Yes, aha. Uh -huh. Masks are limited edition, but yes. backgrounds are exclusive, only one piece. Yeah. Wow, so we have uh, uh, red, blue, and uh, this, uh, um, what colorway, um, what color is this? It's like taupe, I'd say. Right, okay. 
Uh, but this is only the three first piece, but yes. we have more than 100 designs. Right, already. right, right. It's lovely, it really is. It, it, it is absolutely super. Um, uh, oh, what is this? Uh, um, because the, 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 the mask on the wall, it, it's just visually, um, it, it draws you to it. I mean, as I walked in, I thought, <laughs> but it's, it's again the concept of, of the mask that were inspired by, by different yes. uh, gods. So, so this one, the sacrifice, was inspired by Chipetutik, right. which was um, an Aztec god of right. sacrifice, of agriculture, birth and rebirth, yeah. who had actually sacrificed his own life wow. to give crops to people. So it was a very loved um, deity, and uh, as I said, reinterpreted this uh, this mark, which the original one is in the British Museum right now. It was uh, created in, in the 15th century, so the original mask can be seen in in uh, in, uh, in England. And here, uh, the the sacrifice is a uh, is a beautiful creation by by Salamitro. And this mask here is the deity, which is um, a reinterpretation of the god uh, Toltec which was the god of rain uh, uh -huh. and and also um a very very loved and cherished god in the aztec culture so yeah super duper yeah. um I, I, oh and uh, this uh, this painting here is, is this um this is canadian artist jean paul riopel considered one of the greatest canadian artists of the 20th century wow and this was um actually pretty early work by the artist it was created in, the, in 1956 and he was inspired by an Eskimo mask to create it. So we wanted to sort of make a bit of a dialogue of these, these beautiful, unique objects yeah. and artworks. So we have some um, ceramics uh, yeah. by Pablo Picasso. Yeah. Uh, and we have, wow. yeah, we have a work by Fernand Léger, French artist Fernand Léger, uh, Jean-Paul Raphael. And we also did some abstract, put some abstract paintings by yeah. Chinese artist Xu Teishun also one of the, the most important um, uh, artists in terms of lyrical abstraction. Uh, we thought it would just look great with, with, the, with the works, wow. with the objects. I feel very privileged because walking into this uh, gallery, um, it, it, it's lovely and uh, someone that doesn't know too much really about this um, uh, about these objects mm -hmm. and uh, uh, you know I feel like I'm being educated but I am really grateful I I'm so pleasure. grateful um, uh, thank you uh, very much thank, um, you. thank yes, you thank you for coming okay thank you